In the forests of South and Southeast Asia, one of the most powerful snakes on Earth slowly rises from the undergrowth. It's the longest venomous snake in the world. It feeds almost exclusively on other snakes. It builds a nest for its eggs. And it's one of the few snake species that actively defends its offspring. This is the King Cobra, Ophiophagus henna, and it's unlike any other snake alive. If you enjoy stories like this, consider liking the video and subscribing. It helps the channel grow and brings more wild stuff to curious minds like yours. The King Cobra is found across a wide range from India to southern China, throughout mainland Southeast Asia and into parts of Indonesia and the Philippines. It prefers forests, bamboo thickets, mangroves and humid lowlands near water. Adults usually reach lengths of 3 to 4 meters, but the largest confirmed individuals exceeded 5.5 meters. That makes it the longest venomous snake in the world. Despite its name, it is not a true cobra. It belongs to its own genus, Ophiophagus, which means snake eater. While it shares some traits with other cobras, like the iconic hood, it's genetically distinct and behaviorally unique. King Cobras are solitary and occupy large home ranges and often patrol the same paths repeatedly. They are most active during early morning and late afternoon, using shaded shelters or abandoned burrows during the heat of the day. They usually avoid conflict and will retreat if given the chance. But when threatened, especially during nesting season, they become highly defensive. The King Cobra produces a powerful neurotoxic venom that shuts down the nervous system. It affects the diaphragm and other muscles required for breathing, which can lead to respiratory failure and death if left untreated. But what makes the King Cobra especially dangerous is not just the potency of its venom, it's the volume. One bite can deliver up to 6 or 7 milliliters of venom. That's more than any other snake. This amount is theoretically enough to kill 20 adult humans or a large mammal like an elephant. The venom contains neurotoxins that block nerve signals at the neuromuscular junction. This causes progressive paralysis, starting with facial muscles and eyelids and quickly affecting the diaphragm, making it impossible to breathe. The venom also includes cardiotoxins that may disrupt heart rhythm and blood pressure regulation. Together, these effects can result in respiratory arrest or cardiac failure. These components are especially effective against reptiles, which may explain why the King Cobra's venom is so well suited for subduing other snakes. In severe envenomations, symptoms can begin within minutes. Victims may experience blurred vision, dizziness, weakness and labored breathing. Without treatment, death can occur in under an hour. Fortunately, bites to humans are rare. The species tends to avoid conflict and usually gives several warnings before striking. The actual bite is a last resort, used only when escape or intimidation fails. Antivenom is available in several countries and is usually effective if administered promptly. The King Cobra's diet consists almost entirely of other snakes. It preys on both non-venomous and venomous species, including red snakes, crates and even other cobras. It has been observed hunting and killing snakes nearly as long as itself. It is not immune to venom, but it has a degree of resistance to the toxins of some prey species. Its hunting behavior is active and deliberate. Unlike ambush predators, the king cobra searches for food, using its forked tongue to sample scent trails and its vision to detect movement, sometimes from over 100 meters away. Once it locates a target, it strikes quickly and with precision, often aiming for the head. After delivering a fatal bite, it swallows the prey whole. One large snake can provide enough energy to last for weeks. Despite its size and strength, the king cobra is not aggressive by default. It is alert and cautious. When it feels threatened, it tries to avoid confrontation. If that fails, it performs one of the most intimidating displays in the reptile world. It lifts its upper body up to a meter off the ground, flares its hood and emits a deep growling hiss. This sound is unusually low in pitch, around 500 Hz, much deeper than most snake hisses. 
The reason lies in its large windpipe and body cavity, which act as resonance chambers. To many animals, this low frequency growl may sound more like a mammal than a snake, and that makes it more effective at triggering instinctive fear. The cobra's hood is formed by elongated ribs behind the head that spread the loose skin sideways, creating a broader silhouette. Combined with the hiss and steady gaze, this display often stops threats in their tracks. Still, the species rarely strikes unless cornered. Handlers and researchers often describe the king cobra as deliberate and calm, sometimes even appearing to assess a situation before reacting. The king cobra is the only snake known to build a nest for its eggs. Before laying, the female gathers leaves and plant debris using her body, forming a mound with a central chamber. She lays between 20 and 40 eggs inside and coils nearby or on top to guard them. This guarding phase usually lasts around 60 to 75 days. During this time, the female eats little or nothing and aggressively defends the nest against predators. As hatching approaches, she typically leaves the area, possibly to avoid instinctively harming the hatchlings. This level of parental care is highly unusual in snakes. The coordination involved, building the nest, guarding it for weeks and departing at the right moment, has led some researchers to question whether the king cobra shows a form of instinctive behavioral complexity. While it's not evidence of higher intelligence in a human sense, this level of parental investment is rare among reptiles and highlights how specialized the king cobra's life strategy has become. In many parts of Asia, the king cobra holds deep cultural meaning. In India, it is associated with deities like Shiva and Vishnu and often appears in temple carvings and rituals. The species is sometimes seen as sacred, which in certain regions has helped reduce direct persecution. Despite this, it faces growing threats. The king cobra is listed as vulnerable. The biggest threat is habitat destruction, primarily from deforestation, agriculture and urban development. Roads and settlements fragment territories, making it harder for individuals to find mates, prey and nesting sites. It is also killed out of fear or captured for the illegal pet trade, despite being protected in many countries. Conservation efforts include habitat preservation, local education programs and initiatives to relocate snakes found in populated areas. Some organizations also tag or microchip wild individuals to track movement and prevent illegal trade. Where ecosystems remain intact and human pressure is low, king cobras continue to thrive. But long-term survival depends on sustained protection and increased awareness. The king cobra stands out in nearly every category. It is the longest venomous snake on earth. It hunts other snakes, including highly venomous ones, and swallows them whole. It builds a nest, guards its eggs and adjusts its behavior across different situations. It communicates with a unique low frequency hiss and avoids unnecessary violence. Its venom is both powerful and voluminous. And its ecological role as a top predator helps control snake populations, including species that pose a danger to humans. This combination of traits makes the king cobra one of the most distinctive reptiles in the world. Its biology and behavior offer insight into the complexity of reptilian life and show that even snakes, often misunderstood and feared, can have surprisingly elaborate strategies for survival. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay curious and keep exploring.